That's my machine there. This is a really good machine, you said. Oh, I know. I locked out on that one. Yeah. All right, let me just... Oh, the light doesn't work? I'm pushing this here. He just, uh, he didn't have the motor. He got a beautiful stitch on it. He, he recalibrated this whole... Good, good. Yeah, there, and he, and he, he oiled everything from A to Z, you know what I mean? Lubricated and... Uh, yeah, that's good. It's been uh, a long time since it's had any work done on it at I'm all. I'm pretty it's sure heavy. that there's a special light in here that we didn't have. Can okay. you get the light for me? It's a great machine. I'm oh, it's, it's awesome. You couldn't say enough good things about it. Yeah. The, the light is underneath here. Let's see if we have it. We'll see. And put a, I guess because he didn't have it. It's a different bulb because it's fast. I got a bulb for it. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> great. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh my right. goodness. Yeah. You've got one. And you have an extra one? Yeah. I'll take the extra yeah, one too. Take the extra one. Because my yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll buy that Good. one too. Yeah, well, let's let's make sure it works. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think you're so right. That's not very bold. That's the wrong bowl. Uh oh. Hello. Oh. Now it's not very good. It's, it's pretty. Oh dear. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, yeah, it's the. Um, wait a minute. You have another one? Yeah. No, no, what, no. I, I, it's, it's this one. Okay. I gave it up. It was in a box there. All right, let's. Oh, that looks familiar. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Good. And you have an extra one of that? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, I let's me have that one too. These don't both. They, these last a long time. Yeah. Well, it all depends. Um, well, here, let's let's make sure we're working. Maybe that's what it was. There's something wrong with the. Look at that. Doesn't turn on. Doesn't turn on. See, there's something with the, uh, the electrical in there. I oh, know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's good. <laughs> turn the, it on. the circuit board. I mean the, uh, the board, yeah, one of the circuits. Uh, isn't that something? It was. All right, well, we, I'm surprised that, that's, you didn't put a bulb in. It's amazing, it's amazing the talent on. you have, Scott. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, it was him. It was, <laughs> it was him, all right. It's amazing yeah. the talent that's here in the shop. Yeah, uh, good, good. See that? Is his name now. Mark? Yeah, Mark, yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes the whole outlet burns out and needs a whole outlet. You lucked out. You lucked out. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Oh, you should have seen me sewing masks for the, for the medical community back when I'm they, sure, uh, I'm sure. I mean, this thing was going full steam ahead, and my husband said, you're going to wear yourself out sewing like that. I said, this isn't fast for me. But you enjoy it. Oh, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm going to put it just right So now all I need to do to oil my netchi is just take, take this. Just a little drop. Don't overdo it. Yeah, just a little drop. Do you have a spout drop? Do you have a spout? I do. Do, the, do it with a spout. I have, I have a spatial something that I got. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And definitely, just one definitely. drop there and one drop in the just bobbin. Just a little, yeah, exactly. But that's, that's what he does. But it seems to me that underneath, like down in here, there's equipment that needs to be oiled that's too. Usually, that's usually a grease. It's that's a, a grease. grease. Yeah, it's a lubricant. That's All right. It's usually the lubricant down there. Well, would I need a loop, need to lubricate it from time to time? Yeah, it's 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 a thicker, it's a lube. Oil is much thinner. So what do I need to do? Bring it over here to have it lubed when it needs to be yeah, done? Yeah, well, you can do that, of course, of course. So this would it be like do. every two years I'd need to do that? I would say about that. It is, if as long as the machine, if it's not running uh, smoothly, it starts to like rub a little bit, like squeaking and this and that. Then, then, then you should do it. I've been using this machine to sew drapes. This is a good machine. It is. Yeah. I know. Now, I have a new student, and I should have yeah. looked up her name. She hasn't come for a class yet. She's coming Saturday after next. Okay. But she's, she already comes over here. I told her to come here to you, and she says, right. that is where I go. Yeah. A lot of people don't know what they're doing. Uh, most I, of them. I, yeah, right. Most of them. And, and, they, bl and, they, bl and they blame it on my, my tack and the needles and backwards. And, they, and, and some people have had machines for 30, 40 years. And when you tell them that... They, and then the technician sits down with them. Oh, I never knew that. 
You know what I mean? So, I know. I got to tell you that I was working on the machine, I think it was the night before last. Yeah. And I was screaming and yelling at the machine. My husband said, comes downstairs. He said, who are you talking to? <laughs> I said, I'm talking to this sewing machine. Yes, you're right. And then uh, I said, you know what? I better switch the bobbin. I'm going to flip the bobbin over. I yeah, put the bobbin yeah. in wrong. Okay, you put the bobbin in wrong. Right. Right, right, right. And I, the right side and the wrong side. And I did call Sarah, who had bought hers through the over the over the, over the the net, instead yeah. of coming to you like I told you. Told yeah. her to do. And she said she called them, and she's now doing well with that. But the problem is she's having a lot of trouble with her neck, so I gave her some neck exercises. It'll help. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay, so, good, you know, good, so good, hopefully good. she will, you know. But she, she was really interested in this. Okay, so you want you let me just run for you this money. here and then uh and we're you getting take to the picture. Light. This is the machine that I use most of the time when I sew. It was manufactured in the 1950s. It is a FAF 260. They're not made anymore, but if you find one, believe me, I'd snatch it right up. It can either have a machine under the head. This is the head or it can be set in an industrial table as I have it here. I have my machine hooked up to an industrial motor, which is underneath the machine, and this enables me to sew at top speed when I want to. It has gears, it's all metal parts, and it's highly reliable. I just had it reconditioned and um, I'm very happy with it. Sews like a dream. This is a plate that no longer comes with sewing machines. This is a straight stitch plate. Granted, this machine was built in 19, uh, in the 1950s, and back then, sewing machines always came with a plate for straight stitching. Zigzagging was new to sewing machines around that time, or maybe just a little before. So you also got a plate for zigzagging. And here's the zigzag plate. Most machines today give you only the zigzag plate because they found out that home sewers don't change the plates. So the companies have decided we'll save some money. We won't provide this plate and you don't get it. And if you're wondering why when you're sewing, I'm putting this in place and I'm putting my zigzag foot on two, okay. If you're wondering why when you're sewing straight stitching that your fabric jams down into the race and that's underneath the machine. I'm going to lift this up so you can see what I'm talking about. This off. This is the race and we all know the fabric can jam down in there and it can be an absolute mess. And you don't want that happening especially when you're working with fabric like silk or chiffon. And the reason it does is because you're using a zigzag foot and you're using a zigzag plate. And the machine can't keep the fabric up on the bed. It's going down into the race and it's making a big mess. If you've got snap-on feet, or if you have a machine like this and you want to use snap-on feet, you will have an adapter. The adapter would come on a machine with snap-on feet, but a machine like this wouldn't have it. But you can buy this adapter. All right. So I'm going to put the adapter on this machine so I show you that I can use snap-on feet on a machine that was built in the 1950s. And there it is. And now I can use a snap-on foot, which might be the easiest to get if you want a straight stitch foot. Do it the way. There we go. And it's good to go. And that will prevent um, the fabric from getting jammed down in the race. I first worked for Modern Back and Sew in 1986. They went out and I started my own business. So I've been in business for 31 years. We fix um, sewing machines, we sell sewing machines, fix vacuum cleaners, uh, sell vacuum cleaners, steamers. And this is the way uh, I started in uh, 31 years later and I really don't want to retire. I could retire if I want to, but um, I still want to keep going. And I love dealing with people, talking to people. And um, so it's a, it's a really, um, it's, it's a marriage with the, with, the, with the people. And you have to know how to treat your, your, your customer. Everybody, there's, there's, with, everybody has a personality and if they come to see me, I will always treat them like they're my family. When I was working in the industry, I uh, made sure I learned everybody's job. 
I said to my sample makers, show me how you do this. Right. Now, I couldn't work on the machines because I was management. But okay. they would show me, and then when I was off the clock at noon, and when I would go home, I would practice. That's why I know the sample making. Okay. And I would ask the cutters, and I would say, how can I lay the patterns out better so it's easier for you to cut them? And they would right, show right. me. Right, right. Okay, they would show you. Right, so, right. And, so that's and, snuck in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's And er yeah. everywhere. And then there were some things You're always where learning. You're always learning. Yep. That's that's this, uh, this business. We're always learning. Nobody knows. As I'm saying, people come in, they think, they think, oh, I know what's wrong with my machine. Right. They don't know. They think they know. I said, I said nobody's a Mrs. Know-it-all, Mr. Know-it-all. I said, we're always learning. I said, keep that yeah, in mind. Right, right, I said, right. if you knew everything, you wouldn't be here, would right. you? And that's the way I talk to the people. You well, know? I can tell you really. now, I don't know how to service my sewing right. machine. Exactly, I have no idea. Exactly. But in life, I mean, I always like to read and learn about right, things. Exactly. And, and that's just the way I am. So I could, I like to teach people. And then, you know, this is, and you're, that's the way you are too. You like to teach, teach, and teach. And, well, I'm uh, glad I found this shop because it's not easy to find people who are really knowledgeable it's about sewing machines oh yeah, to get cool. the work done right. That's mm -hmm. correct. That's correct. Well, you'll see you have a beautiful stitch there. You know, you didn't have to bring your big motor in. <laughs> no, uh, You didn't have to bring that in. Exactly. Or, the, or the table. So I said, I said, is there any way you could do this? He says, Let me, he says, if I don't try, I don't. Uh, and, I, and I said, oh, you did a really good job. When they sew... Yeah. I mean, right away, they, it's like stepping on the pedal really fast. You have to, you have to. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't you, work so well. No, you have to go slower. That's right. To make sure that needle penetrates the fabric. First the needle goes down, then the presser foot goes right, down. Right, right, exactly. And, and before you do that, you put a piece, piece of scrap fabric under the machine. Right, exactly. Then the needle down, then the presser foot down. Then you sew the, over the scrap right. to make sure that it's sewing well. And then you sew right. into your garment. That's right. There mm -hmm. you go. But a lot of people they, and they press on they press on the uh, like like the foot pedal right away, and it's like they're going eighty miles an hour, and then they hit something, and the whole machine goes, goes out of whack. That's what happens, and then yeah. the whole machine has to be recalibrated. Oh my so, And they wonder, they go, "What did I do? What did I do? What did I do?" <laughs> I says, "Just take your time. Take your time." He says, "Where are you in a hurry? Where are you going? Where are you, where are you, where are you in a hurry? Just." And, and a lot of people, they yeah. uh, they you know they listen, and uh, and the mother brings in the daughter, and she's, are you listening to him? <laughs> <laughs> are you listening yeah. to him? She's my daughter's always in a hurry. And, well, uh, sewing yeah. is a lost yeah. art, but I'm hoping to bring back some of it because the truth is the way the industry sews, which was developed during the first and second world war. Yeah, right. Um, okay. Almost nobody, even in the industry, knows how this whole thing goes, and that's what's in the books. Okay. And if this is available to people, and this has all been classroom tested okay. and proven to be easy to follow, that you can just use the books. Use the all book, right. And right, then, of right, course, right, we right. have the videos, too, to help. Yeah. That hopefully this will get people more involved and realize that this is not an easy thing to do. But no, it's, it's not. But it can be done, and that they can have much, much nicer clothing at a far That's lower true. price. But it's basically patience. The people don't have the patience. They really, they, they don't, they, and, and they really do panic when they, uh, yeah, you should see, they, they come in here and they're like a nervous wreck and uh, what did I do to my machine and this and that. So, uh, you know, so they have to slow down a little bit. Right, right, we got it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. It's, it, 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 it's a, true, they're just, uh, you, you know, and if, and, it, and if they make a mistake, they shouldn't take it out on themselves and just panic. And then you should see people, they take these machines apart. They come in here with a box, everything <laughs> apart. Yeah. Oh my word, I yeah, you're you doing see, that. And there's something, the technician doesn't know where everything goes. No. So it's like a puzzle. It's a puzzle. They take <laughs> they take these machines apart. They bring them in here in a box. And, it, and my technician, well, what do you want me to do with this part? I don't know where this goes and this, you know what I mean? And they and they, and they make a, a worse problem than they, they originally have had. Oh my yeah, Lord. you know, Laurel, I'm telling you, I've, se I've seen it all. I've seen it all, oh, right. I might take a screw out to oil something, but yeah. I would try to take the machine apart. I yeah, I had one lady, machines. I mean, we did a beautiful job on her machine. I saw the stitch, she goes, your technician doesn't know what he's talking about. And she came in and, and I looked at the machine I says, your needle's in backwards. <laughs> yeah, your needle's in backwards. Your needle, I mean, your needle, I mean, it's, it's in the wrong way. Yeah. And then she called me up. She says, I'm very, very sorry for the way I acted in your store. This wasn't me. And I thought to myself, it was you. Yeah, right. It was you, right? <laughs> it was you. Well, it was like me when I had the bob on in. I mean, they were yeah, in the wrong yeah. 
It was a true personality. It was a true personality. Uh, but I said, yeah, yeah, you need to put the bobbin in right. It sews a lot better. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, the bobbin has to be the, right. Exactly. And so, I'm not. See, I'm not used to the drop in because I'm used uh, to the used side to the load side? or the front load. Uh, the front load. Right. Okay, this one's right. got the front load. And right, the, right, and, right, know, right, right. And I'm used to side load or front load. What do you prefer? Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Right. Now, what I really, really love are the industrial machines. I mean, they just so right. like the yeah, waste, yeah, exactly. But they only have one function, so that's, that's not practical. That's it. It's 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 the one function. Yeah. But the more bells and whistles it has, that's where people get in trouble. You don't need all that. No, you don't need all that. This little featherweight was built in 1941, and it's fantastic. It'll do just about anything. Granted, it only sews forward. Well, it will sew backward, but I don't like to sew backward on it because, see this little lever? This sets the stitch length. All right, so if you want to sew backward, you have to go up like that and then down again. I don't like to do that. So what I do when I need to back tack, which one should do when one starts a seam, is I sew forward, lift the machine and the needle, move the fabric forward, and then Put the needle down and then the presser foot down and sew over those couple of stitches. That's how the industry used to do it. They go zoom, zoom, like that. I never was able to do it as fast as they did it, but I did learn the technique and it does work. All right, this little machine has come with a straight stitch foot and there are a lot of attachments you can get. Now I know what you're thinking. It doesn't take snap-ons, but yes, it does. Because if you buy an adapter, and here's one here that I have, you can put that on the machine and then you can use all your snap-on feet. This machine threads right to left. It goes in this side and comes out this side, which is very unusual. It's the only machine I know that threads that way. There may be others, but I don't know about them. All right. All right. Anything that, sh that threads right to left or left to right has a side load. That's where the bobbin is. It goes in the side. And here's a little bobbin. Bobbins are different from one machine to another. And this little bobbin is really thin. You would think that this bobbin doesn't hold much thread, but it's surprising when you sew on this machine how much thread there really is on it. I'm now gonna put the bobbin into the bobbin case. All right, so I put it in like this, and I know that the thread comes over this way, which is usually the way with all bobbins. And I'm gonna bring it down this little groove, I put my glasses on so I can see better. Bring it down in here. And then it gets into this little groove right there. All right, and when you've got it right, when you hold the bobbin up like this, it shouldn't fall out, you see? It's in tight. All right, and if you go like this, it should come down just a little bit, and that means the tension is right. Now, a lot of people don't know it, but there is a tension on the bobbin case. And of course, we all know about the tension here. So these are two tensions that are controlling the underlying thread and the top thread as it's sewn together. If you find on the top layer that your thread is loose, it's this tension that needs to be fixed. And be very careful about fixing that because these screws are tricky. So it's better to work with this and see if you can't fix it. Maybe make the stitch length a little longer, a little shorter, and see if you can fix it that way instead of fooling with this. But if you're really stuck, this is what you fix. If the thread is loose on the bottom, you fix this tension. So the top tension for the bottom layer, bottom, uh, bottom thread and the bottom tension for the top thread. That's the way it is. It doesn't make any sense, but that's the way it is. All right, so now I'm going to hold this like this. And if I hold this like this, you can see it doesn't fall out. That's true of all bobbins. I'm gonna put the thread back over my hand so it doesn't get caught in the race. And of course, this is the race right here. And it's called a race for good reason. It races around, right? And we're going to put it in. And you'll hear a little click when it goes in. See, it just, just snaps in. There we go. And there it is. And now what I need to do is put a spool of thread here and wind it through and bring the thread up before I sew. Okay? And that's how this machine works. The featherweight comes in a little black box like you see here. And in the top of the box is another box, of course, where you put the um, presser feet and some threads and needles, whatever you want to take with you when you go somewhere with the machine. And this little hole here is where the machine can stick up in here so that it all fits into the box. It's all very compact. Nobody is manufacturing these machines anymore. 
but they are so well made that they're out there on the market. You need a manual for your sewing machine. I don't care how new or how old it is, you need a manual. And this I found on the net. Believe it. There are manuals out there for machines made in the 1940s, and my machine was made in 1941. I checked the serial number, I know that for a fact. So I found this on the net and put it into a little booklet so I would know how to take care of my machine. Because I'm not a machinist, I don't know anything about machines. First one to admit it. My son then went on the net and found this one. Can you believe this? Two different manuals for the same machine. They both pretty much tell you the same thing, but they're on the net. So if you have a machine and you do not have a manual, go online, the manuals are free, and get one because you need it. You need to know how to take care of your machine. This sewing machine comes with an adapter, of course, but the adapter can be taken off and um, the low level feet can be put on the machine and screwed back on. So you have an option with that. All right, so I've taken off the extension uh, table. This machine is a top load. All right, so you've seen my front load on my 260. You've seen my side load with my uh, featherweight, and this is a top load. This pops open like this, and you can put the bobbin in through the top. It's true that the higher end the garment, usually the less equipment needed to make it. You really don't need a lot of bells and whistles. You need a machine that gives you a beautiful straight stitch, and that's just what this little machine does. Yeah. But the more bells and whistles it has, that's where people get in trouble. You don't need all that. No, you don't need all that. I have a no. featherweight machine that was built in 1943. All it does is sew forward. It's impossible to sew backward on the darn thing. And that if machine you, is you a, make anything on it. That machine is a, a, it's a masterpiece. It is. It, it, yeah, it it's is. It's a masterpiece. That's why people, they don't let go. Of that. It, what do you have, that little box? Yeah, with it. the little box. Th that, yeah. They're worth they're worth money. And you know what? You they can are. take off the you can take off the presser foot, and you can put on the adapter, and you can use the snap on feet with it. You can use the snap on <laughs> feet. You can feet. do anything with it's this a, machine. It, it's a it, you know what it is? It's a very very reliable machine. Oh my word! That's what it is. Yeah. This is what we want. We want reliability. We just don't want any bells and whistles. And oh, my machine sews two hundred stitches. How many other stitches are you going to use? I don't use them. You know them. what I mean? I don't use them. I mean, them. seriously. No. Yeah, right. So but people say, oh, I could buy a machine that has uh, 300, 400 stitches for, for this amount of money. But I says, but the quality isn't there. Let me tell you. Yeah. No machine right. ever sewed better than the person sitting in front of it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's if true. If you don't know what you're doing, the machine they're isn't going to do it for the you. They're the worst enemy. They're <laughs> yeah. the worst enemy. And you get these machines with these computers on them, and they last five years. Yeah, exactly. And when, and when a board goes, that's, the it. that's it. That's and it. And then that's they try, the yeah, right. Then they panic. And, and uh, it costs yeah. thousands of yeah. dollars. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because exactly. exactly. so you're not going to use all those stitches. I mean, you're that's really right. not. That's, uh, that's well, what I really about. thank you for all this. We've it's got my a lot pleasure. Of the, on, the, on the video, yeah. we will let you know when it goes up. Let me know. Right. And I, hopefully it will bring you more business. I, I, People I, need I, to I'll know about you. I'll do the same for you. That's why we're here. This is a... Right. This is a, uh, a business. Agree, yeah, right. yeah. This is a business. Good to know uh, people. Right. <laughs> right. We make it worthwhile for you to come in here, and I make it worthwhile. You know. Well, uh, you made it worthwhile yeah, just by right, fixing exactly. my machine. Yeah, yeah. Plus, right, I now exactly. have a light. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. I, uh, you know what happened? I have a light. The when he put the other one in, it set the the breaker off, but the the wrong one. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh. Yeah, well, let's let's make sure it works. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're so right. That's right, Bolter. That's wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know about that. I've had then, that happen. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. I know all about things going and Mark out. Mark figured it out. And, I cannot uh, put on the heater and the dryer at yeah. the same time. No, no, you can. It'll just, the, the circuit will the, the circuit will <laughs> right, go. Right. But it's um, it was too much electricity and it just uh, it just blew. The home sewing instructions when I I use home sewing patterns, which is unusual for somebody in the industry, but I okay. do. And the right. reason I use them is because it saves me a lot of work. However, when I take the pattern out of the packet, I'm doing the same thing as when I worked in the industry. The designer would design the garment. The manufacturer would say, we're going to make it. 
All right, and then I would get this mess to straighten out. Right, right, yeah. And yeah, I would right, straighten okay. it out so it could be manufactured in the factory. That's right. what I did. That's what pattern makers do. Right. I would straighten the pattern out so that it fit. Then after yeah. I did that and that was approved, then I would grade it into the different sizes. Okay. And I would my I would cut it. My sample maker would sew it up for me. Good. So we're checking everything to make sure that the factory can sew it together. Beautiful. All right. Right. So right, when right. I take a pattern out of a home sewing pattern, I look for the mistakes, and it's they're full of them. Of course. Of they course. give you half a collar. Yeah, well, you can... You, can, you can't yeah. make a decent collar with half of a top collar pattern. Okay. You've got to make the other side, then you've got to draft the, the bottom collar, okay. which has to be a slightly smaller, because it because if you don't, you'll get this, this. See, there's a bottom collar and the top collar. See, the bottom right. collar is my left hand. Okay. So you've got to you've got to draft the bottom bottom pattern, okay. and you've got to check to make sure laid open that they lay flat against each other okay. and that they're symmetrical. Well, you know, right, it's got to be symmetrical. That's what you got to do, right? and that's what right. I do with these patterns. Good. And as far as the instructions are concerned, I don't throw them out in case there might be something that would help me, but right. I don't use them. You're a mm -hmm. genius. No, no, I know my business. No, 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 I mean, no, no, what I mean is you've really gotten down to a science yeah. to know. This is a, you know, this is an a engineering right discipline. Right, 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 this right. is an engineering discipline, then, and it, 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 it follows the same structures. It's step by step, it's, but right. it has to be done in the right steps. Right, but this is engineering. It's, like, it's the same right. thing as, as, yeah. as the engineering that's involved with putting satellites up in the sky. Yeah, it's exactly. It's an engineering, right, right, right. engineering technology. I understand. That's what it is. I understand. And it's low-level technology. And we need this for our young girls because if they learn this basic technology with sewing, right. the way it's done in the industry, we'll have more women in the engineering fields. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. I want to ask you something. The, uh, mm -hmm. the, the necky that you, um, that you used, yeah. how thick of a... Um, fabric have you gone with one? Oh, yeah. You didn't look at my machine. I've got yeah. I have got I thought it's I've got I've got a heavy needle in there. You got an I've 18? Been, yeah, at least got, an 18. Least yeah, 18, yeah, right. right. It's, it's a, okay. a needle that sews jeans together. Yeah, yeah. Well jeans is sixteen and then eighteen is, is 18, heavier. 18. It might even yeah. be heavier than that. Right, right. Because I get these uh, needles, you know, and the, the, the thing this is like this. How many fabric would you say? All over right, now it's thin lapping. fabric, but okay, yeah. so uh, let me think. Well I was I was sewing pleats. So that's three plies and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Not one, two, three, four, five, six plies of fabric that I was sewing through to make these pleats. That's really, and it was going through it. Let me tell you. Yeah, and I had to adjust the machine for that. Right. I had it on a zero instead of the four. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did, and okay, it went right. through back and, and forth. Through, back I went and back forth, and forth. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? So oh, it'll see, do you it. You got to make those adjustments. So that, so that machine has a really large capacity. It does. Yeah. And, and I how, need how about the gowns, the wedding gowns? Uh, well, I haven't done. See, that's any... got a big bed. You know, the large. Flatbed. Well, see that th there's not a problem with that because if you yeah. manipulate around, you're all right. You are okay. Yeah, you do. The, this business of the free arm, you don't need that. You don't need it. Okay. No, no, you don't okay. need that for anything. Absolutely not. Okay. If you don't, if the only people that need a free arm, people don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Okay, so it's basically a selling. It's a selling feature that you don't really need. People will buy okay. anything. You know right, that. Yeah, yeah, right. They right, will buy right. computer machines with thousands of dollars that don't work for longer, right. longer than five years. It's just the ingenuity inside, and it's the operator. Right, right. If yeah, you don't know what right. you're doing, the machine is going to do it yeah, for you. <laughs> I hear you. That's true. That's true. That's but this true. machine would sell a sewing gown with a wedding gown with no problem. Okay, yeah. so it's it's so this is a really so this is a heavy duty machine. That's yeah, what well, I, that's what I tell people. Yeah. Right now, I yeah. would prefer that the Just, machine would set into a table. So it would be right. flat, yeah, like the right, table right. I have for the two hundred and sixty and the yes. industrial table. Right, right. You really need all that space. Yeah, you do for that. for yeah. for industrial. Right, right, right. Exactly. right. And and that's the nice thing about industrial machines, and they do so like a dream, but they only have one feature. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. It's true. Well. Right, now, and I they're just, heavy. I mean, well, they, I know, they I know, I know. Sometimes they come in here, and Mark and I, we have to carry them. I mean, it's really, you know. One time I had a guy, he put, he put the whole table with a motory board. I don't know how he, he did it himself. I don't know how he did it. I don't know. I said, how did you do that? He, I was concerned you know, about my hands picking up this machine. Says, but he was out of breath. Oh, it yeah, he was out of breath. Yeah, I, okay. I said, my God, and he was a man. He wasn't a young man. Well, you know how they do it in the industry. They yeah. have these dollies, and they yeah, you have put two a dolly. men, you put and a the dolly. two men pick up the whole machine yeah, and put, put it on the dolly and move it when they have to reorganize right, right. the factory. That, that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's good. Well, it's my pleasure. My Thanks pleasure for stopping too. in.
And thank you, uh, thank you Scott. Thank of you course. so much. You always have a friend here. <laughs> always have a friend here. Right, and here too.